everyone, Miss Tui here. Santa's reindeer needs to be very precise when landing on rooftops. You will use launchers and color codes to ensure that your rainbot lands on a rooftop target. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, scissors, tape, and three pages of your rainbot landing practice activity sheets. You'll also need your color code chart, which you can find on the left-hand navigation menu. In today's lesson, you will use speed and timer codes to program your bot to land on a rooftop target to earn points. Get out your rooftop target and clear tape. It is best to work on a light colored surface if possible. You'll place your rooftop target four to five feet from your launch zone. To measure four to five feet, spread your arms wide apart. From the fingertips of one hand to the fingertips of the other hand is about four to five feet. Tape your rooftop target to your work surface. Tape down the whole edge of the target that your Ozobot will be going over. Measure about four to five feet from your rooftop target and place a 12 inch piece of clear tape to designate the starting line of the launch zone. Can you tape down the whole edge of your landing target so that Ozobot can enter the target without getting stuck? Can you also place a piece of tape for your launch zone? Next, you'll get out your scissors and your cutouts page. On these pages, you'll notice costumes, some trees, and some launchers. Use the dotted lines as cutting guides. Be sure to cut out all the launchers. You'll need more than just one. Can you cut out the costume, trees, and launchers from the cutouts page? Remember to cut on the dotted lines. For this step, you need the trees you just cut out and some tape. Take a look at the landing strip. It looks like clear sailing with no obstacles. You're going to add some trees to make this landing a little bit more challenging. Tape the trees down. If your rainbow runs into a tree, it will follow the black line and stop. Can you tape down your trees? Time to dress up your Ozobot. You'll need the costume and some tape for this step. Wrap the costume around your bot and secure it with a piece of tape. Can you tape the costume to your bot? Finally, the launchers. This is where the programming begins. You will need to use some color codes on the launchers to get your rainbow to the target. Look at one of the launchers. You'll need to fill in three color codes, a timer code, a speed code, and a line switch straight code. The first code you'll fill in is a timer code. The function of the timer code is to turn off your bot after 30 seconds. In other words, your rainbot has 30 seconds to arrive where you want it to stop on the target. The timer code goes in the first code blanks your bot comes to when it leaves start. Fill in the timer code. Pay attention to the direction your bot will be traveling so that the colors are in correct order. The timer code is red, black, blue, green. Can you fill in the timer codes on one of your launchers? The code in the middle will be the speed code. You will want your bot to travel fast enough to get to the target in 30 seconds, but not so fast that it goes past the target. 
In choosing the speed code, you will need to do a bit of testing, adjusting, and testing again. Decide on a speed code to start with. You will fill in the speed code in the middle of your launcher. I'm going to start with a slow code to see how it goes. Can you fill in the speed code on your launcher? The last code you need is the line switch street code. A line switch code tells your bot to leave the line it is following, cross over any empty space, and join the next line it finds. In this case, you want your bot to travel straight to arrive at the target, so you'll use the line switch straight code, which is green, blue, green. Can you fill in the line switch straight code in the last code space on your launcher? The color code is green, blue, green. Now for the fun part, testing the launcher. Observe if your rainbot stops at a tree, goes past the target, stops before the target, or lands right on the bullseye. After your first trial, you may need to adjust the direction of your launcher or use a different speed code. If you need to use a different speed code, get a blank launcher and fill in the timer code, the line switch straight code, and a different speed code. Then test again. Watch the distance and direction of your bot so you can make adjustments with your launcher. After a few practice runs and adjustments to your launcher speed and direction, get out the Rainbot score sheet. For each round, record each color code you used. Then, if your rainbot stopped on the rooftop target, how many points you got for each of the three runs. After three runs, add your points and write the total number on the score sheet. If you are doing this activity alone, compare each round's total points, the speed code used, and any other strategies you used. Did your points increase each round? Did they decrease? Was there a pattern? If you are doing this activity with a group, you can compare each round's total with others in the group and share strategies for improving each run. Can you fill in your score sheet? Look for patterns. To wrap up this activity, answer the following questions. Did you program your Rainbot by filling in the color codes on the launcher? Did you observe and make adjustments to the speed code? Did you observe and make adjustments to the direction or placement of the launcher? Did your Rainbot stop on the rooftop target? If you'd like more to do with this activity, try some of these ideas. Measure the distance your bot travels with each of the speed codes in inches, feet, or yards, or millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Add more obstacles like lines with different line switch codes. Come back again soon for our next lesson.